How you doing? Johnny McRae here and uh, doing a little in the bag for 2019, the start of the year here, right before I head out for Phoenix for the memorial. And uh, this is basically the bag I'll be set up for at the memorial. This year during the off season, I broke in a lot of discs, so I have a lot of discs. I'm feeling pretty confident about uh, my disc selection for this year. And uh, I got backups on backups on backups, so I'm feeling pretty good about it. Gonna be out there playing like uh, I'm not worried about it. So let's start with some uh, put with uh, I guess we'll start with the putters here. I got a putter here, it's a trilogy challenge 2014 shield that I'll be driving with. It's uh, mainly for driving, I'll be th throwing that quite a bit. I got the uh, new keystone in there that I'm gonna be putting with. It's a great straight putter, brand new. It's a great, you can throw it on a really straight line. I've been using mine a little bit, so it's starting to work into a nice turnover putter and turnover driver. And uh, so, I'm really liking the feel of the Keystone and everything, so I'm hoping to get some more. And then my main putter is a shield that I have here. And, uh, Always liking the shield for my inside the circle putts and any windy day putts, so always putting with the shield. All right, now on to mid ranges. I got a lot of times, uh, you use mid ranges a lot on the course out there, so uh, these are the mid ranges that I'm gonna probably lean on most of the year here until I get some of them Opto X's. Might throw one of those Opto X fuses in there. I'm, Looking forward to those, but uh, this is a Opto Fuse Burst here, and this one's worn in. This is a Heiser Flip. I throw it out there like that, and it turns over and rides, turns over. And uh, this one I also use for long jump putts. It's amazing if you haven't tried jump putting from like 100, 120, 150 even with a understable mid. You should really try it. It's amazing. And then I also have another, this is a gold line fuse that I use more for straighter shots that don't flip it over as hard or shots that I start with turnover and they slow ride it. And uh, this one's really good. I uh, like this one a lot. There's only, uh, I think, 10 fuses with that stamp on it. So that's pretty neat. And then you have my warships and uh Remember this one from the Disc Golf Pro Tour when I hit, got that hole in one? This one I'm still throwing. It's probably my, it's my turnover warship now, which uh, before it was my overstable when I got the ace with it a couple years ago. But now it's my turnover warship. And now my straighter warship, probably like that one was when I aced with it, is the Swedish flag warship. And uh, yeah, I'll be using this one quite a bit for straighter. I can power this one and it goes straight, straight, straight. Doesn't really fall off too much, just holds that line nicely. So that one's pretty good. And then I have one more warship here. And this is a my overstable warship. This is a newer one here. It's actually an older warship, but it's a brand new. And it's got the uh, monkey grip die there, Paul Wilson. This is a thing is incredible, isn't it? Look at that thing. color in there is amazing I don't even you probably get it probably doesn't even look as good on camera as it does in person but this thing is amazing and I throw this one out there hard and it, it'll ride that and then it'll barely fall off not like a hyzer off just barely falls off it's a warship you know it's not gonna fall off a bunch so this is awesome right there thank you very much Paul and from another Paul a verdict and this is my overstable mid that I throw out there and it's gonna fall off to the left on a windy day it'll carry a little bit straighter It'll probably fly like this warship does on a straighter day and just barely fall off but it's got the stability to take the power so verdict's another good mid all right i have one roller that i'll be bagging and it's my fury and uh it's a good roller disc good beginner disc it's a great disc to throw out there you just i can throw it as hard as i can with about that much hyzer and it's gonna flip all the way over 
they catch a nice angle like this on the ground and roll, 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 and it'll eventually work itself up and even turn over it's, uh, if it's got enough room. This disc will go a long way on the ground for a fairway driver roller. It'll go. You just got to land it on the right angle. All right, now to my other fairway drivers. I have two Saint Pros. I have this one right here, and this one is my Turnover Saint Pro and uh, Tailwind Straight. And uh, it's great for the big annies that hold all the way over, keep going, ride all the way over. That's a very good disc for that for me. And then I have this Saint Pro that I got from my buddy Jody. And uh, this is a newer one. Although it's not got the newer stamp, it's just a it's brand new. But this one I can throw out there, and it'll stay straight even to a headwind. Straight, 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 straight. And uh, I can get slight hyzers out of it. Skipped it off the basket at Cliff Stevens. The whole 10 almost got it. Bounced right off the top. But uh, this is a great disc here. Easy to throw. Good disc. All right, now when I need it to really hyzer, I got this Ati here done by Synergy Disc with the Hunter Hot Stamp on there. And uh, man, this thing is overstable. Look out! Look at the flatness on that disc right there. That wing right there, very overstable disc. Everything I could do to throw it like this to try to get it to go 350 feet. It's a meat hook, wants to get back left, get on the ground, do some groundwork. And a uh, great disc for that, the skipping and that eshing shot. It's a very fun disc to throw. The Ati, that was. All right, now to my high, higher speed drivers. I guess uh, we'll go with the enforcers in my bag. This one I've had in my bag since I got on the team back in 2015. And uh, this one's worn in. You can worn in nicely. This is a incredible disc. This is probably my go-to driver as far as if I'm lacking in confidence at all I grab this out of my bag and I can trust it to do whatever I want it to do so that's a good one and I got this lucid X enforcer and these are now my new favorite enforcers these are great this hard plastic stiffer plastic these things I, I've thrown this thing and skipped it about 20 feet high in the air it was amazing I really like this disc I like over stability so Man, this one's starting to work in, not skipping so high anymore, but this, this, these discs are amazing. If you like over stability for that crushing forehand shot or even a, the backhand shot, this is the disc you want to try out, Lucid X Enforcer. All right. Now I got three Giants. I love the Giant, but I never... Get away from throwing that thing. It's uh, been probably my, my most trustworthy distance driver. And uh, this is my top hat giant. I've been throwing this one for quite a bit now, probably three years. This is my do-it-all giant right here. I can work it every which way. And it's uh, probably my most least stable giant that I have in my bag for right now. But it's a very good disc. I can, I can actually get it to turn if I force it over it'll turn over for me and then I have a new New York Giant my older one was uh, becoming crazy flippy which uh, is, is kind of neat I put it away I'm hoping that it'll straighten them back out on the bottom of a, a stack of Giants so uh, I'm hoping that it'll flat that flatten that one back out so I made a new New York Giant as you can see there and uh, this one is really nice I really like this opto red domey Giants, it's got some dome on it, but I can throw that thing out there and I can pretty much almost like this one I can almost get it to do anything I want. It's got just a little bit more stability So if I don't give it all the way, I probably can't get it to hold all the way All the way, well, I probably could but it doesn't want to hold all the way over it like this one does This one will probably come out a little bit. It's got a little bit more stability So that's a just a step up from that next one and then a step up from those two is my Rockin' John Giant yeah <laughs> so yeah I like throwing this one when I need a little bit more stability or when it's a little bit more windy and uh, this one cruises super fast trustworthy that is a little bit newer so I trust it a little bit more to hyzer out and then I have this disc that I've been working into the bag this winter 
and uh, you'll see me throw this every now and again when the hole's really long and it's a uh, Ballista Pro, Opto X Ballista Pro. I like that stiffer plastic and uh, this thing will really get some good D. It's uh, amazingly fast, probably the fastest disc I've ever thrown, but uh, it uh, gets some good D, amazing D. A lot of people actually are throwing this, a lot of the uh, Trilogy professionals have this in their bag, so it's probably a reason why. Go out and try one of these bad boys. 2018 disc of the year. All right, like my new core bag too, and uh, I'm excited about going out to Arizona and, uh, and not being cold. I uh, don't like the cold, and um, I'm enjoying it here as you can see. Look, it's beautiful out here. And uh, I don't know if you can see that back there. You can probably see, you can see that back there. Oh, it's just it's amazing. I love Florida, and uh, but I, we are looking forward to getting on the road. It's happening here really fast, so we'll see you out there on tour.